we have so if anybody wants a little bit of background in regards to this uh, i would go check out our latest video that's been uh, it's it's done quite well we've gotten out uh, there's a lot of even non-traditionalists that watch that video covering well the pope was wrong that's what we titled the video um and really we were i was expecting to see some sort of response for from the vatican to some extent but we really got nothing at all and if anything we seem to have gotten a a doubling down from pope francis who initially of course made that scandalous remark in asia in in singapore uh, saying that all religions were like languages, all religions are a path to God. But uh, now a recent statement, you can argue, is even more scandalous. So this statement was being made to a group called Med24. So this is a group from all across the Mediterranean Sea that it's devoted to trying to bring all peoples together from around the Mediterranean Sea, no matter their culture, no matter what language they speak, no matter their religion. And this was, and really to promote peace, acceptance, that the the whole nine yards that we're, we're used to seeing with this organization. Now, this particular group seems to have been filled with mostly Catholics, but his address shouldn't be taken as being meant for Catholics. Mm -hmm. He is addressing an interreligious dialogue meeting. That's really how this must be understood. That's the goal of this meeting. If you look at the 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 objectives of the meeting and the, the various things that they're doing, they're having these interreligious meetings. They're explicitly saying that they're doing this to try to um, bring people closer together, no matter their religions. I'll give a quote from an article from Vatican News that said, the motivation for choosing this location of the event has to do with the multiple cultural and religious realities that the country contains, which is in Albania. The other, another quote says that these are young people between 20 and 32 years of age from the five shores of the Mediterranean and belonging to different religions and cultures. Okay, with that in mind, what did Pope Francis said, say? Well, he, he gave a, a, a pre-written statement, and he addressed them via video call, and he says this. This is the big part that everybody was scandalized by. He said, I invite you to learn together to discern the signs of the times. Contemplate the difference of your traditions like a richness, a richness God wants to be. Unity is not uniformity, and the diversity of your cultural and religious identities is a gift of God. Unity in diversity. Now, this is, of course, troublesome because saying that a false religion, idolatry, uh, superstition is a gift from God is obviously false. Now, the Pope Splainer argument for this one has been one of two things. One, they'll say, well, it's an imperfect gift. It's a gift that might lead them to some realities like the belief in God, but it causes them to get wrapped up in superstition. I think it would be very, we'd have to sort of twist our minds to accept that sort of interpretation of this. I think your average person is going to read this and say, oh, false religions are a gift from God or all religions are a, are a gift from God. Your religious identities are a gift from God. Well, they must be good. God is not going to give false gifts. He's not going to give um, gifts that would do us do us harm, which a false religion certainly does. Now, the other argument that they've made is quite frankly, a lie, which is saying that Pope Francis is talking about Eastern Catholicism here, which has nothing to do with anything. Of, of course, your religious identity in, in this context, which he's talking about coming together in order to avoid conflicts with each other, I don't know of anywhere in the world where there is a constant crisis between Latin Catholics right. and <laughs> Ruthenian right uh, Catholics. It simply doesn't exist. So this is a major uh, problem. It shows a doubling down. And the last thing I'll mention on this is that I don't think that po many people have said, well, do you seriously think that Pope Francis thinks Catholicism is false? I don't think that's what he's saying here. He's saying that Catholicism is, in a, in a sense, on equal footing with others, if not just a little bit raised above the others. As if, uh, I mean, we, we've seen this with the, the Church of Christ versus the Catholic Church dichotomy that the post-Vatican II Church has uh, proposed, saying, well, the Church of Christ is bigger than the Catholic Church, but the Catholic Church is the most full of the Church of Christ. This is what I think Pope Francis is getting at. I think he's applying this principle 
to show that all religions, though, have a taste of the Church of Christ to the point where, in his previous statement, they seem to be salvific in the sense of arriving at God, or in this sense, they're a gift. They're actually a positive good thing. Now, before we move on to our uh, synodality story, I wanted to get your reaction, Brian. What do you th what do you think of all this? Yeah, I think you're exactly right. He, he, what I think he would say is it's not an either or. It's not a Catholicism or. It's it's both and. But yeah. so it's not that Catholicism is true or false. He would say it's they're all true, right? And they're just like, you know, different words in different languages that mean the same thing, right? And that's again a an error. So again, people are trying to say, well, he's not denying that Catholicism is true. Well, part of Catholicism is is that it's the one way, truth, and life. It is the one way to God. It is the only true religion. And so denying that is denying the truth of, of Catholicism. Um, as we mentioned in our other video, the Vatican was definitely embarrassed by this. They tried to publish a changed translation that tried to paper over this and make it not as blatantly wrong as it is. And then within a day, they actually corrected it back. I, I don't know whether that was Francis said, hey, what are you doing? That's not what I said. Or they realized how disingenuous that is. But they now you know, have gone back to what the live translation was going on. Um, and one thing I noticed, I actually watched the video when he said the first statement. And again, that one was definitely in front of a bunch of non-Catholics, different religions. And, and my view of the people listening was almost like, what are you talking about? Like when he's like, we're all true. We're all, the kids look a little confused, at least to my viewing of it. Like, what's this guy saying? All religions are the same. Um, again, that may just have been what I'm reading into it, but I saw the reactions as a little disconcerted, <laughs> even the non-Catholics by what he was saying. No, yeah, I think it would be confusing for if we, for some reason, put ourselves through going to see a Muslim gathering, and the Muslim said, "Well, you're fine being a Christian." I would be confused myself. It would, <laughs> it's not something you would expect, certainly not. And you know, one one other thing to mention here is we have to reflect on how has the Vatican approached scandalous things that could be interpreted as being scandalous uh, with other groups in the past. Well, when Pope Francis made those remarks, we were not going to repeat them here, calling the uh, LGBTQ, AI, whatever it is, um, community uh, a certain slur. Immediately, the Vatican came out, clarified, we're, we're sorry if we offended anybody. Here, it seems to be a denial of the gospel itself, and we get nothing if not a doubling down. So very uh, awful situation there and very disappointing.